This is Dave Sobera with Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. Today's first round matchup in the Sweet 16 Invitational features the Modesto Christian Crusaders taking on the Horizon Lady Panthers. Both teams are primed to start their seasons in a big way against the fierce competition in this tournament. Just looking to get back into it and see where we're at. This is one of the best tournaments I think in California, especially to open up with. So to have that opportunity to gauge yourself real quick early on in the season. I mean, we know coming into here, we're always the underdog, so it, 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 that's nothing new. But for us, our focus is to play hard, to do the best that we can do, and to not let up. Both teams are ready, so let's go to the highlights. Kadidja Brandon starts the game off driving and dishing to Alania Clay who makes the great head fake to knock down the jumper. Then it's Clay again with the open jumper. She finished with 18 points. And now the Lady Panthers are rolling. Kadidja Brandon gets the rebound and throws the perfect pass to Kimberly Flournoy who does the rest. After a Crusader turnover, Flournoy shows why she earned a scholarship to Seattle University. She knocks down the tray, and Coach Carrington is all pumped up. But this play should make her more excited, because the Panthers display textbook passing to break the press, and Sarah Porter finds Janae Omusi for the easy deuce. But the Crusaders wouldn't go away. They are the defending San Joaquin Valley champs, after all. They give an all-out effort on the glass, and eventually, Jasmine Hampton fights for the rebound and gets the shot and one. Then, Vanessa Cagle hits the mid-range jumper, but Khadija Brandon answers right back and kisses it home high off the glass. Brandon finishes the first quarter off with a great steal and lays it in to make it 19-11 Horizon. Horizon starts the second quarter with a great passing exhibition. Kimberly Flournoy finds Alania Clay, who dishes it inside to Janae Omusi. Then, Haley Shepard sets up Flournoy for the three, and it's good. But now she wants to show a little bit of defense off, too. She makes one of her seven steals on the day, passes it to Haley Shepard, who finds Janae Omusi for the bucket. On the next play, Modesto Christian inbounds it down the right sideline and finds Vanessa Cagle in the corner, uncontested. The Crusaders are back on the fast break, and Mariah Brown makes the tough off-balance shot to make it 36-29 Horizon at the half. The second half would start in the Panthers' favor. Khadija Brown shows great anticipation in making the steal and taking it all the way in for the layup. Off the inbounds pass, Kimberly Flournoy creates for herself to knock down the jumper. She finished with 20 points in the game but the Crusaders came roaring back. Mariah Brown misses the jumper, but Danielle Thompson cleans it up. She'd finish with 12 points. The Crusaders came all the way back to tie it up when Taylor Cuthbertson hits Danielle Thompson on the brilliant backdoor lob pass. The score, 43 all at the end of three, but the Crusaders couldn't keep up with the explosive Panther offense in the fourth quarter. Khadija Brandon gets the rebound off the miss and puts it in, then, it's Janae Umusi dominating the interior again. She'd finish with 15. Khadija Brandon rebounds and assists to Alania Clay, which was the dagger. Clay finished with 18, and from there on, it was foul time. And the Lady Panthers closed it out. The final score, the Horizon Panthers 63, and the Modesto Christian Crusaders 50. It feels great. We got a whole new team this year and a whole new attitude. So it felt great to come out hungry, ready to win with heart. Just hustling and really trying to utilize our fast break and get the ball out. That, I think, was a difference. I think we wore their defense down, and I know they were tired. I expect for the rest of the tournament for us to just go hard. We should have no reason to have a downfall. And uh, I just hope we pull it out and win the whole thing. That's our goal. I just know that if our girls continue to work hard, we're going to make some noise. And I think this coming out against a team like this and having the stats that they have, the wins that they have, the notoriety that they have, I think for us, this is nothing but something for us to build on. I mean, we can do nothing 
nothing but get better if we take from this game everything that we did right, everything that we did wrong and learn from it. What better way to start off with than a top team in the state and beat, and beat them by 13. Thanks for watching Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, keeping you on demand.